All right, this problem says that the area of a circle is 25 pi square feet, and what we have to do is figure out its circumference and express it in terms of pi. All right, so what we're going to do is solve this in two different ways, one that's kind of informal and one that's a bit more formal. So let's start with a quick, less formal way to solve this problem. So if you are ever given the area of a circle in terms of pi, the number in front of pi is just the result of squaring the radius. So all you really have to do is take the square root of that coefficient, in this case, take the square root of 25, which is equal to 5. That gives you the radius of the circle. Now, once you have determined what the radius of the circle is, all you have to do is double that number to get the diameter length of the circle, which in this case would be 10. The circumference of any circle is just pi times the diameter. Since the diameter is 10, we multiply that by pi, so 10 pi is the circumference of the circle in terms of pi. All right, let's approach this problem more formally. So what we're going to do is start by expressing the equation for the area of a circle, which is area is equal to pi times radius to the second power. The problem gives us the area, which is 25 pi. So we substitute a in the formula with 25 pi, and that gives us 25 pi is equal to pi r squared. To solve for r, we start by dividing both sides by pi. This will cancel out pi on both sides, leaving us with 25 is equal to radius squared. Now the inverse of squaring something is the square root. By taking the square root of both sides, we isolate the r and determine what the value of r is equal to, which in this case is 5. To find the circumference, we're going to use the formula c is equal to 2 pi r and substitute 5 in for r. This gives us c is equal to 2 pi times 5 which can be simplified to circumference is equal to 10 pi, which is the circumference of the circle in terms of pi. So remember, when given the area in terms of pi, take the coefficient of pi, and then take the square root of that number, which gives the radius, and then double that number to get the diameter length, and then multiply that by pi.